what's up Emiri Netic here and you probably saw it already on the title of course yesterday the Apple event came down and there are a couple of things I want to talk about that is one the products that have came out and two some of the software things they're pretty good so Apple launched first of all on their event a new subscription plan on Apple music which is called the voice plan in this subscription you will you can only do all kind of things with Siri like play this song or play this kind of song actually not nothing more and it's also the cheapest subscription plan of Apple Music which will start at just $4.99 US dollars next up we have the new HomePod mini now of course this is not a new HomePod mini this is actually just a regular HomePod mini which Apple announced with three new colors we have a yellow orange and a blue one blue one is of course the color which is i'm going to pick because of course blue is my favorite color and there's no any big changes it's just a regular home of mini with only three new colors and same as the price same price nothing more next up let's talk about the new m1 pro and the new m1 pro max so the m1 pro has made a huge jump of performance also this Apple Silicon itself is I think almost twice bigger than the previous M1 chip itself and because it's so big we now have a 8 high performance cores and 2 high efficiency cores which gives the Apple Silicon or the M1 Pro now 70% faster CPU than the previous M1 chip itself. And we also have now a 16 core GPU inside the M1 Pro chip which gives us now twice as faster graphics than the previous M1 chip. Plus we also have now ProRes inside the chip which gives us now a better possibility for rendering or editing much easier and faster 4K and 8K videos. And that's only the M1 Pro. Now let's talk about the new M1 Max. So this high-end chip is even now a much bigger chip than the M1 and the M1 Pro itself. And because it's so big, it gives of course now a 10-core CPU, which is of course the same as the M1 Pro. But we now have a 32-core GPU. And that is huge, like double the GPU of the M1 Pro itself. And that gives us of course now 4 times faster GPU than the previous M1 Max. And that's a huge jump of GPU performance. Like um, take a look of this graphic. You can see that the M1 chip and the difference between M1 and M1 Pro Max is huge. It's like that huge and that is really cool. So next up we have the new 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro. So the new MacBook Pro has now a all new design that looks a little bit like those previous Retina MacBooks and overall it looks fine to me but there are a couple of things I want to talk about. So the new MacBook Pro has now a notch on the top which I actually don't like because people don't like the notch on Apple device anymore. They are, I heard some things on Twitter that is not good about this notch too. It's also a bigger notch, but because we have a notch now, it gives us also now thinner bezels too. And we of course have also now this new 1080p camera, which I think like finally because we have now we had still MacBooks that has running a 720p webcam, and that is really old, like seriously that old. Okay, so Apple has returned some of their new ports. We have now the MagSafe back, the HDMI is back, and the SD card slot is back. And that is, on the other hand, good. And on the other one, it's not good. Let me tell you why. Because we now have a few new ports back, it means that the MacBook Pro is, of course, thicker. And, I mean, it's a lot thicker than the previous MacBook. But because it's so thick of course, then I'm not really used to this thick laptop. Like if I look at my other MacBook like this one, it's thin, like really that thin. And I was really getting used to thin laptops like this one of course. And because it's so thick, it can give you a feeling like am I going backwards with this thing because it's thicker than my previous laptop. 
are not a big disadvantage so it gets in the way but an advantage of this thickness that we now have those ports is that I don't have to use the stupid dongle anymore and that's a good advantage so that means that I don't have to forget or think about taking my dongle with me every time when I'm using my laptop and another disadvantage about this laptop is that we still have this 3.5 millimeter headphone jack I still don't know why they use those headphone jacks because I think it's time that we don't have to use those headphone jacks anymore because if I look at almost every Apple product like the AirPods and the AirPods Max it's all now wireless now of course I really understand that you maybe don't have a wireless earbud or a wireless headset it's true I, I understand that but there are many people that are using right now a wireless headset or wireless earbud and the cheapest wireless earbuds or he wireless headsets could be around 30 bucks or something and I think this is now a time where now a laptop must come that has no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack MacBook has of course now improved Tunnable, Tunnable 4 we also have now support that we can plug one MacBook into two pro displays we also have fast charging in enable 2 we now can I think charge within a half hour already 50% of the battery of a MacBook Pro that's really cool so that means in just an hour your MacBook Pro is fully charged and that's really cool and of course there are so many new things about this MacBook Pro that like we now can stream on ProRes video on 8k and we can plug in multiple Pro displays plus a 4k TV all on a MacBook itself and that's really cool but yes guys that was it for this video hopefully you've enjoyed this video also let me know in the comments what you think of those new apple products and of course what you think of those new m1 chips and subscription plan of apple music and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video turn on post notifications and share with your friends and i will see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>